All right, so we've talked about uh, writing a book and whether or not you should, and we've talked about how much you should price a book, but how do you sell your book to people when you have written something and you want to share it with the world? That's what this video is going to be about. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. You might notice that I look a little bit redder than normal. Um, a lot of that is because I spent all of yesterday out in the sun, actually. <laughs> it was solar eclipse day. Uh, so we went to uh, check out the total solar eclipse because we were actually in a decent enough area that we could get to it. And oh my God, it was amazing. But there's going to be a video about that coming actually in a couple of days. I'm going to be talking about it and sharing some footage and, and, and my photos and all that kind of stuff. So stay tuned for that. Um, in the meantime, you might have noticed that the uh, the books over here no longer have not for resale on them. It's because I actually just got done restocking. I'm still waiting on a couple of books from Amazon, and I'll probably do a video talking about Amazon in particular at some point because I've had some real trouble lately with them uh, as far as getting orders fulfilled for books. Uh, but that's all for a completely different video in the future. This video in particular, we're going to be talking about marketing and how to market your book. Um, this is especially relevant for indie or self-published authors, uh, but it is even actually, <laughs> it actually matters for traditionally published authors now too, because the traditional, the big publishing companies, they don't do quite as much in the, in the way of marketing as they used to do. And they actually rely on, on the authors for a lot of that stuff. And we talked about that a couple of weeks ago when I did a video on whether or not you should publish a book. I highly, highly recommend you go check that one out. Um, but the gist of it is that being traditionally published doesn't mean what it used to mean. So uh, as far as the marketing, this kind of goes for both. We're primarily going to be focused on indie stuff and, and, and self-published marketing today because that's what I do. <laughs> so if you're not familiar with me for some reason, my name is Josh Bearhart Hawk. I'm the author of the journal Legends and Tales, Creepy and Fun Stories to Tell on the Campfire, and GPS Signal Lost. Um, those three books, GPS Signal Lost is the most recent one. It's coming out April 26, 2024. The others came out last year in 2023. Um, but I, I've struggled over the past year and a half or so trying to figure out what's the best way to market these things because it's hard online to market just about anything, let alone a book. So I started to kind of question, like, what is the best way to do it and what should I focus on? So that being said, <laughs> um, I did start taking a course. I'm, I'm, I'm working on my business management marketing degree. So I've got a little bit of stuff there. I've got I've, I've taken a few marketing classes now that have really opened my eyes to a lot of things that I kind of sort of knew, but like it was it was more assumptions than anything else. And now it's, it's, it's actual knowledge of, oh, OK, so this is exactly this is how this is really done. Um, so first and foremost, marketing isn't just advertising. So a lot of people, when they think of marketing, they think of ads. So you see an ad on YouTube or you see an ad on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or wherever you happen to be, you see a paid ad. Those paid ads are a piece of marketing, but they aren't really what makes marketing marketing. So marketing is how businesses use or is the process businesses use to kind of figure out what to make, who to sell it to, where the target, uh, target audience is, that kind of stuff. The paid advertisements obviously go into that, but realistically, how many of us um, in the self-published genre are going to be using paid advertisements? Some people might. I have. I've tried them to see how they, if they work. Hence, they don't, not really, um, but a lot of companies will use them and a lot of companies have the budget, but the self-published authors, we often don't. So what's another way outside of paid paid advertising that we can get our books out there and 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 get people to read them. Now, the best way that I have found so far and the way that has kind of really been the bulk of most of my sales has been building up your own community, your own page. And typically on Facebook is where I found has been the best place for that because when you're looking at readers, a lot of readers, a lot of people that are buying books are still old fashioned or still getting on YouTube or, or still get on Facebook. You know, and, and they aren't as, there are people on, on other platforms obviously doing this. You've got the viral, the viral uh, people on TikTok and that kind of stuff. The, the, the people that read like six books a week, that kind, of, that, that kind of person. But your average reader isn't going to be doing those things. Your average reader is going to be 
typically on the older platforms, they might be on some message boards, that kind of stuff. So you have to find a community. You have to figure out where your target audience is, where your demographic is. Even if it's a younger dem demographic, reading is one of those things that's still kind of old school. Reading is one of those things where I think a lot of people that will sit down, especially especially when it comes to the, the, the physical copies, paperbacks, hardcovers, that kind of stuff. It's more of an old school thing. And people that are willing to sit down and read a full book, and I'm talking a 40, 50, 60, 70,000 plus word novel, that kind of person is more kind of old fashioned. They're, they're on the older, older social media platform. Some will be on the newer stuff too. But you, you need to focus really on building a community in those areas. And that's where you kind of start selling. Not getting those people just to sell to them, but getting those people to build a community. Getting those people, the, the, the people that follow my Facebook page, I have connected with other authors out there. But I've also connected with readers through those other authors who have seen me and said, oh, this looks interesting, and come over and check it out. That is one of the first and biggest things that you have to do as a self-published author is build that community up. Because if you don't build that community online, if you don't have a community, nobody knows who you are. You know, when you start out, you are a brand new author. You are just another name on the internet. You have to get people to care about you in order to get them to actually buy something that you have done. So focus on that first and foremost. Go to Facebook, go to Twitter's not a great place for community. Instagram really isn't either. The best place for communities are Facebook. YouTube's got a pretty decent community tab. I don't know that it's great for communities. Discord's another place where you can try to build a community. Just figure out where your readers are, you know, and, and go go out there and, and start posting, create a page for yourself. You know, really, really promote the fact, you know, don't don't make it relentless. You don't want to sit there and just say, hey, I have a book. Go read my book. Go check out my book. You need to be personable. You need to be able to kind of, you need to learn how to interject things in a way that is natural, that feels natural for people. Because honestly, as much as you're trying to sell, people don't want to buy things just to buy things. So it's it's getting to know people. It's getting, it's getting, and it takes time. It's not something you're going to do overnight. You aren't going to start posting this week and have a huge following next week. It's something that takes a lot of time, a lot of care. And you actually have to care. You can't just do it to try and sell books. If you do that, it will come back to bite you in the ass. <laughs> so once you have that established and once you are, are, are posting, you've got a community, you're posting regularly, I recommend Facebook. I'll use that for a lot of examples because that's what I use. Um, the, the, the biggest thing that I found, especially with GPS signal loss, has kind of gotten more traction than I expected at times. Um, but it, there is a caveat. And I'll talk about that in a minute. Um, but is taking a quotes from the book. So with GPS signal loss, as an example, I've gone through and I've taken some of my favorite parts, quotes that might be funny or insightful or kind of mysterious. And, and you know, you want to build up a little bit of tension with them. And I'm talking no more than, than maybe a paragraph at most. And I will go in and I will create. Essentially, I'll, I'll take the background that the. the you know, what I have for the book here is the background and I'll put the words up there and then I'll put where it came from GPS signal lost day, whatever. And that's been something that's been pretty good at, at, at kind of garnering some interest and getting some, getting some people to pay attention that maybe otherwise wouldn't because it's an image, you know, images capture people's attention. If you can take an image that is striking from your, especially if you do it from your cover, because that gets people familiar with the cover and then Add to that something that is kind of an interesting quote or funny quote, something that's going to evoke a reaction from people. If you can add that in, that kind of gets the kind of gets the interest going. And then if you can add in on top of that, you know, make sure you put in where it came from because you don't want people to like take that quote and like misattribute it. Stuff happens sometimes, you know. You don't want your your quote from your your upcoming novel to become a meme, right? So you want to make sure you add something in there so that people know when they read it, oh, I need to go check that out. And that helps to build up some interest. Another thing that I've done with GPS signal loss is I've started kind of uh, sharing information about the characters. 
And what I've done is created character sheets using the same template, the same background for the, the, the book cover and everything. And what I'll do is I'll, I'll, put, I'll put meet the characters at the top. And then I put this character's name and a little bit, a little blurb about them of stuff that may not be necessarily found in the book. A little bit of extra behind the scenes kind of information. And what that does is it kind of builds a connection with the people that, that read it with those characters. And that's what you really want to do when you're writing a book. When you're trying to share the book, you want people to have the connection with your characters. So if you can do that by sharing a piece about piece of the characters and talking a little about uh, about them, that goes a long way towards getting you a little bit more exposure and getting people a little bit more interested. I'm hoping that the car sounds from outside aren't coming across. I had opened the windows this morning. It's a little bit uh, it's 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 chilly out, but it feels good, especially with the sunburn, you know. Well, what I mentioned a minute ago about the uh, about social media in general. Social media nowadays is incredibly difficult to grow on, even with paid advertisement, because people have become so numb to paid ads. They will scroll by them. They will click away from them. You know, the, the skip ad button on YouTube is one of the most popular buttons in the world, I'm pretty sure. Uh, people hate ads, and especially when they know that they're ads. And the funny thing is, is because it's mandatory, it's, it's required by law now that you have to disclose when something is an advertisement online. As soon as people see that paid advertisement thing, they'll, they'll usually try and uh, they'll either ignore it, they'll click away, they'll, they'll scroll past it. So paid advertising isn't even a good way of growing an audience on social media anymore. And organically, it's, I don't want to say impossible, but it's, it's, a very difficult task to try to grow organically. You know, I've been posting videos to YouTube now for a few years and I've had the occasional organic growth, but for the most part, a lot of that stuff, it, 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 it's taken, it's taken the years to get the subscribers, to get people to even comment on, uh, you know, I, I, to this day, I still don't have very many people that will reliably comment on every single video. And the same is true with Facebook. I've got a pretty, okay size audience over there but very very few, very rare do i see that many reactions or posts on a comment or on a comments on a post and some of that a lot of that actually has to do with the fact that they just aren't being shown you know i've got a few people that i, I talk to on the back end behind the scenes that follow me on facebook that will say yeah i don't i don't see your post i might see a post two or three days after and to be fair facebook has actually taken away they used to have the ability to sort by recent you know the most recent post by your friends and, and pages you follow that's not a thing anymore now they tell you what is the most relevant to you and they'll just pop that up whatever that happens to be and you don't have a choice in that now if you interact more often with a specific page you're more likely to see the post from that page or the videos from that channel but even then you're still not guaranteed. You know, YouTube at least still has the way where you can go click on pages you or channels you follow and you can see what the most recent stuff from the channels you follow is. But Facebook doesn't even have that. If you want to know about a channel, you have to actively go search it out to see what they've recently posted. Now, the problem with that, of course, is that people don't, people have short term memories. All right. When, they see you, they'll be like, oh, yeah, I remember them. I'm going to go check that out and see what they're doing. But if they don't see you on a regular basis and they don't know you personally, they won't think about you. And that's that's true, actually, in all of life is that, you know, it's, it's the recency bias. It's how often do you see that person? And, and the more you see them, the more familiar you are with them. But if you don't see them very often, and, that, and that's kind of the problem on social media is that you aren't seen very often. If you and if you pay to advertise, yeah, you might get seen all the time, but people see you so often they scroll on by because they're like, oh, it's just another advert, it's just another ad, you know. So it, it takes a lot of time, takes a lot of effort, takes a lot of energy. That's online. Now, if you want to sell books online, obviously, you need to go, for it. but. Don't make that your only source of income. 
if you want to be a full-time author, especially, you need to find other avenues and other routes. Now, the best avenue and other routes, especially for an author, is go to local bookstores, go to small, smaller town bookstores, places that might be interested in hosting author events, and try to get your book out there. And say, hey, look, I wrote a book. This is what it is. Can you check it out? I'd like to do an author signing where I can come in here. You know, you still need to advertise yourself. The bookstore might do some advertising for you, but you still need to advertise that you're doing an event. But those events can be great ways because it's in person. And meeting people in person is one of the best ways to, to, to connect with them. And one of the best ways, once, once you make that connection, they're more likely to want to check out what you're doing. You know, I've, I've met people where they wouldn't have had a clue who I was. They would have had no reason to pay attention to me. They never would have stumbled across me online. But we met in person, and I had the opportunity to talk to them and tell them about my books and that kind of stuff. And when you tell people that, they get their, their, their interest is peaked, and they're like, oh, I want to go check that out. It doesn't always result in a sale, but there's more times that, the, that it will, and when it does... Those people, if they like your if they like your book, are likely to tell other people, are likely to tell other people. And word of mouth is the best form of advertising. You know, are you more likely to buy something because a billboard or an ad on YouTube tells you, or are you more likely to do it because your friend recommended it to you? And that's where you want to build that audience up. You want to build that up and, to, and, and get to know people. And in person, especially in 2024, especially with the way that the internet is now, people are tuning out. People are starting to become aware of how negative the internet has been on our lives as far as like the amount of time we spend on it. And they're starting to kind of tune out that stuff a lot. And it's, that's, that's a big reason why it's becoming harder and harder. You know, the volume is growing of available authors, available YouTube channels, available Facebook pages, whatever you name it. The volume is growing, but the audience is shrinking. And it's not necessarily that the traffic to these websites is going down or that the number of people that are signed up to them is going down, but it's more so that people are not paying as much attention when they are on those sites. And maybe they're just sitting on them because out of habit, they pull up Facebook while they're on their phone, while they're waiting on something. And they're not necessarily really paying attention to what's on there. So that's where, like, while it's good to focus on online stuff, you really need to be focusing on what, how can you reach people out in the real world? And you know, one of the ways for me that, we're, that I'm going to be doing that is my wife and I started a business. We're going to be selling candles. We're actually going to be making some of those candles today <laughs> so we can start building up our, our inventory. But we're going to be going and selling candles and books. And, and I've got photos lined up and I've got postcards and all that kind of stuff that we're going to be selling in person. We're going to places like flea markets, which very few people really think about. When I looked up flea markets for selling um, as an author, I don't really see anything about that. So when we do that, I'm going to be making a video talking about it. I'm going to be showing this is what our experience was. This is how we set up. This is what it looked like. And, you know, I'll, I'll go over all of that stuff because it's, it's fascinating to me. And there's not enough about, the, about it out there. You know, I think flea markets are a great place to start. If you have the ability to make it to them, most of them are on the weekends. You have some throughout the week every once in a while, but usually it's on the weekends and usually they're packed. People love flea market. Typically, they're showing up and buying used junk. You know, people are selling whatever the hell they can get their hands on. If you show up as an author and you've got, I'm, I'm going to have, I've got a big banner that I'm going to be putting up saying, you know, buy signed books by Josh Bear Hard Hawk. You know, if you can really push yourself out there like that, you're more likely to get that audience over there. You get to get those people to come over. You know, and if you can offer other things and, and you know, we're doing books and candles as a, as a big thing, you know, if you can offer those kind of things to people, that's a plus. I'm also going, I'm planning on going to some smaller town events. I've got uh, some events I'm looking at in, in other places. Uh, my, my hometown, I'm looking at possibly getting into a thing this summer doing that. So there, there's other live local events that I'm looking at and, and that's kind of what you have to do if you really want to make it as especially an author because people are going to have trouble finding you online but in person if you can make yourself stand out you're going to get a lot more attention and 
a lot of times if those people can see those things, they can see you in person, they get to know you a little bit in person. If you have a YouTube channel or a Facebook page or whatever else on the side, they're more likely to go check that out later as well. And that can be a side thing, but you really got to focus on what makes the most sense. And especially in this day and age, especially with the way things are trending right now, you know, things are (laughs) crazy right now in the, in the world. And so people are trying to kind of get back to that roots of, of offline type of connections. And the more you can build those up, the better off you're going to be. So that's, that's what I got for this video. I, I really wanted to focus on that because I, I have been trying to find the best way to market what makes the most sense since I started selling books. Since I started with the journal and got done writing that, and I was like, how can I, uh, what's the next step for this? Where do I get it? You know, and really it's hard to find that, 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 proper place and the more i've pushed online the more i found that yeah i'll get the occasional interaction but it's rare to get a good strong connection with people and that's the thing that i'm trying to build the most you know i've been wanting to build an online community here on 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 youtube and discord and and all that kind of stuff and it just that side of things isn't working very well and a lot of that has to do with the time that we're in it is it's it's still possible to grow and make a good you know make make an income and spread your word out there or spread your name and you get your word out and talk about things like this but it's getting harder and harder because people are getting numb to any kind of advertisements you know even sponsored segments in youtube videos are becoming less effective because people have kind of got the idea oh you're getting paid to say that you know they 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 i skip advertisements i skip sponsorship spots and videos because it's one it's never inter- anything that i'm really interested in very very rare occasions i can't even think of one off the top of my head that i've actually been interested in and two i've already heard about it probably 15 times from that creator and other creators you know when you see a paid sponsorship in a video that is that is usually somebody that that company has paid several people and you may have seen it in multiple multiple videos think of things like the ridge wallet or nord vpn you know <laughs> better help um uh what's what's the food one i can't even remember now it, it, that that's how bad it is there's just so many out there and you just got to kind of find you, you got to realize that like the stuff the internet is a great tool but it's not the only way, and it's, you need to focus on other aspects, in-person aspects, other than just the internet type of stuff, because that's that's how you're really going to sell and, and, and get your name out there, is by doing that kind of stuff. So I, I do have a Patreon, if you're interested, you can go check that out. Uh, I share posts like this early, I share some behind-the-scenes stuff and that, that kind of thing, so go check that out if you're interested in that. Like I said, GPS Signal Lost coming out April 26th. You can pre-order that on Amazon or my website. Uh, you can buy all of my books over on my website, signed copies, paperback. So go check that out. Uh, that's all I got for this one. I want to thank you all for watching. Everybody have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in the next round one. Round around the world we'll go, putting on the greatest show. So make sure that you don't miss out, just be there. We're taking our shot, bring what you got. We're going all the way to the